Hi, Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading. Um, well, we've had a great Santa Claus rally. You can see it started last week on around the 17th, and we've had some really positive, hard uh, up days here. And lately, the last three days, you, you can see that the volume's going to start lightening up here uh, since we're in kind of that holiday uh, seasonal mode. And you're going to start seeing the market just kind of go up on light volume, just kind of grind to the upside. So barring any major news, negative news globally, this is just going to keep trending uh, in, a, in a, just a light fashion, kind of a grind pattern to the upside. Now, this is a seasonal type of pattern, and it goes and usually lasts through uh, the end of December. So, you know, as we come into the end of next week, uh, this could be something where you could start seeing it start to show signs of fatigue. It could happen earlier. So... That's the S&P. Now, also, you can look at the Russell, and it's been lagging the other markets all, all year, and right now it's trying to catch up a little bit. So you can see it's broken above that swing high, and it's getting up into its 1272 extension right here. So watch as it gets up here. This is an area for profit take, and as you get up into this kind of area in the next few days, if you start seeing the market start to stall and slow down, show some fatigue, then you want to start, you know, having a go-to list of stocks for potential shorting. So it's always good to have a watch list. And the stocks that I like to look for are those that are not really kind of participating now in this up move. Uh, those are the ones that are kind of diverging. And one such stock is Netflix. If you look at Netflix here on the weekly time frame, broke hard below this 21 period moving average here. And it's still down pretty hard. We've had a short covering rally last week. Uh, you're getting back up into this area here. If it, it goes back into this 80 EMA, it could, uh, you know, push higher into that area next week. Uh, but at this point uh, right here, about uh, 358, is probably a good area to start looking at Netflix for a potential short, you know, uh, watching the indicators just show us a, a lack of momentum. Now, the big thing that I'll be watching is the equity markets, and if they start to roll over, or just kind of pull back a little bit. Uh, Netflix is the kind of stock that could be a really good go-to short type trade setup because if you look at it on the weekly, it's below all of its cluster main move, moving averages. And if you look at it on the daily, it's still you know also below the 21 period moving average and it's still below its 50 moving average way up here. So this is kind of a potential go-to short stock and those are the kind to put on your watch list and wait for the opportune time if the markets start to roll back over, taking a pause, pulling back. These are kind of stocks that could have some good momentum to the downside. Now, one more thing, uh, you know, we're into the holiday season here, so we wish you all a happy, happy holiday. And just to want to point out to, that I'm having a 50% off sale on everything on the Power Cycle Trading site. Uh, so go to the site, check out what you'd like to buy, and Put in the code MARY50 and everything's 50% off. So just use the link here provided on this uh, email and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and talk to you on the next update.